What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in the process of making this video, we are having a very nice pump on the XRP price chart. In this video, we're going to talk about what XRP needs to do to sustain this rally, and some critical levels I am watching that will literally prove whether or not this is a more long-term trend, or whether or not this is just a short rally until we see more price action to the downside. Make sure to stick around for that, you are not going to want to miss it. In the latest Ripple quarterly report, we also got some very interesting information on Ripple buying of XRP. So I saw a lot of people in my comment section skeptical on whether or not Ripple was buying XRP. Guys, Ripple is loading the boat on XRP. They are buying billions of dollars every quarter, and they literally stated that in the financial report. In this video, though, I want to talk about the implications of Ripple actually buying all this XRP, because guys, there's something interesting going on behind the scenes that not a lot of people are talking about. You are definitely going to want to see this. Last of all, at the end of this video, I want to show you a very interesting clip of Jerome Powell talking about a massive issue currently in our market that XRP directly fixes. I want to show you guys how right now XRP is being positioned perfectly to actually solve this huge problem. And I'm going to show you a quote from David Schwartz directly relating to this that might actually blow your mind. I have never seen it before. I could not believe it when I saw it. Make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video to see that. Like always, if you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It goes such a long way in helping this channel grow, and it really does mean so much to me. If you guys are ever looking for a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out the link in the description below. With that said though, let's jump right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. Real quick, if you guys want to get six free stocks, make sure to sign up with Moomoo using the link in the description below. If you sign up with Moomoo and deposit just $1, you will win six free stocks. Each one could be worth up to $1,000. So make sure to check that out if you guys want some free stocks. So guys, let's jump into it. And I want to start off by taking a quick look at the XRP price chart because we have a pretty nice pump going on right now. I want to talk about what we need to see on a macro level for this to be sustainable and also a critical, critical price level we need to keep our eye on because it is been stomping us down for a while now. So to start off, I've been saying in my last couple of videos, we really need to see inflation tick down over the next couple months. This will allow the Federal Reserve to take some pressure off the markets by not jacking up interest rates as fast, and this would allow a lot more money to flow into cryptocurrencies. We know the other day Elon Musk actually put out a tweet where he directly said that he thought inflation was coming down. This is a pretty big deal and from a macroeconomic sense would take a lot of pressure off the cryptocurrency market. But if we zoom out right here and take a look at where we're really trading, we can see that we bottomed out a while ago around 29 cents, around 30 cents, and since then we found a pretty strong base and are now kind of moving back up. Now if you zoom out we can see that we really still are pretty far down in this larger trading range that has been going on for almost a year and a half now. I remember when XRP topped out at $2. I never thought we'd be down at 39 cents. But hey, that's where we are. Not anything has changed negatively on the fundamental side. So this is really just a fantastic buying opportunity for me. I'm not worried about it at all. What I want to see though is XRP break this descending resistance because guys, this thing has been keeping us down for a while. If you can see, even if you're not that into technical analysis, you can take a look at this and see that we cannot break this trend line. We've bounced off at once, two, three, four times, and it looks like we are getting ready to approach it again. Now, I'm going to be watching very carefully to see if XRP can finally break out of this thing, because whether you believe in technical analysis or not, it's important to realize that either way, this will at least indicate that we're done descending at this rate. This is a slope right here. If we're able to break out of this, we will at least stop the rate at which we're falling. So hopefully we can break out of this if we were to get above this line we would have to push up to around 47 cents we could just bounce off of it at 47 cents so to get a really nice break we need to see something above 50 cents maybe around the 60 cents mark now guys that would be a very bullish sign because that would at least indicate that the rate at which we have been falling for the past year and a half is at least slowing down so it looks like to me we'll probably have an answer on whether or not this is going to happen by the end of august so i'm going to be watching this closely and i'm definitely hoping we finally break off of this massive descending resistance so i want to keep moving and talk about something very interesting that's developing in the market and that is ripples net purchases of xrp 
as of recent ripple has been loading the boat on xrp they have been buying it off the retail exchanges and this is a very interesting development because not a lot of people know that as of recent ripple has actually stopped selling xrp to the retail markets. What Ripple does now is they actually sell this XRP directly to different ODL partners. And typically these transactions are actually over the counter, which means they never actually hit the retail exchanges. It's essentially they just send them XRP and then their partner just sends them money, but it never actually happens on an exchange. So it never actually hits the price of XRP. So the reason this is so interesting is because this means that Ripple currently is pulling XRP out of the retail market and putting it in the hands of the institutions. Take a look at this tweet by Digital Perspectives because he explains it really well. Digital Perspectives tweeted out, so Ripple continues to buy back XRP off the secondary market. They state they're solely engaged in selling XRP to ODL related businesses. Question, where will retail exchanges get XRP? Question, how long will it take to run out and what will the price be when it does? So this is a very interesting question and I don't know the exact specifics of exactly where these exchanges would get more XRP. If Ripple is not selling XRP directly to the exchanges and they are only selling to ODL partners, well, that would mean the only place XRP could come from would be from retail investors that already had XRP, or I guess from any of these ODL partners who wanted to dump their XRP, I guess if they were done using the ODL product. Either way, this is not consistent selling pressure. And we know we just removed a lot of selling pressure from Jed McCaleb running out of his XRP. So Digital Perspectives is bringing up here, hey, if all of these different parties are now not putting new XRP onto the retail exchanges, at the same time that Ripple is purchasing billions of dollars of XRP off the retail exchanges, will we eventually reach such an imbalance that there is not a lot of liquid XRP for retail investors to actually purchase off retail exchanges? Now, this would be very interesting because in no doubt, this would cause the price of XRP to skyrocket on the retail exchanges. One reason I actually think this is a lot more plausible than it may have been in the past is because Ripple actually has a new way of conducting ODL. They used to conduct ODL by directly selling XRP onto retail exchanges during the cross-border payment. And because of this, you could have made the argument that even though Ripple is buying XRP off these retail exchanges, after they sell it to their different ODL partners, well, these ODL partners just sell the XRP back onto the exchanges anyway. So it's kind of like a loop and no XRP is actually removed from the retail market but now we can see a pivot in how ripple is conducting odl now they are looking to use odl simply wallet to wallet and the xrp never actually hits the exchanges this is going to use the xrp dex a lot more to facilitate the transactions but it's never actually going to directly hit the retail exchanges this is very interesting and something we have to keep a very close eye on because how I see it right now, Ripple is pulling XRP out of the retail market and I do not see a clear way for this XRP to re-enter the market unless Ripple's ODL partners directly start dumping the XRP. This is another thing we have to keep a very close eye on because although we do not know, have any proof that this is directly what's happening, it does seem like it could plausibly be happening behind the scenes and I think this would be a very very interesting proposition. So last of all, I want to finish this video off with showing you a very interesting clip of Jerome Powell and then showing you directly how XRP solves the problem that he brings up in this clip. One thing that I think is very interesting is a lot of people like to pin Ripple against Swift, saying Ripple's going to take over Swift. Guys, I want to show you something that could prove XRP could be positioned perfectly to be the settlement layer for Swift and Ripple could help facilitate this to happen. Watch the end of this video very closely. I want to show you an interesting tweet from David Schwartz that could show this might have been the plan all along. Listen to this and I want to show you the clip from David Schwartz. Well, to your point though, capital markets did show uh, real periods of illiquidity during the, um, during the immediate aftermath of the pandemic. So the capital markets showed serious signs of e-liquidity. The reason we have e-liquidity in the markets today is because we are moving money at the slowest rate possible. We have outdated payment systems that have not been upgraded in 50, 60 years, and because of that, it causes the transactions to move extremely slowly. We live in an age of the internet where information can move place to place in fractions of a second, but it still takes days, sometimes weeks, to move value from place to place. 
This is what's causing our financial system to break down because it cannot keep up with our modern day society. We need transactions to move faster. We need assets to settle in fractions of a second, and we need that to happen before our financial system breaks again. And that is directly what Jerome Powell is telling you right now. The very interesting thing is right now, XRP is being positioned perfectly to upgrade this system. Take a look at this tweet by David Schwartz because it is very interesting. He said, Ripple Nets, perhaps. I don't know exactly what he was talking about there, but he said one obvious pivot would be position XRP to settle SWIFT payments. So right here, David Schwartz is directly telling you that RippleNet is not a big deal for Ripple. They built RippleNet, which is essentially the messaging layer for their platform to essentially help facilitate transactions. But for them, it's all about XRP. So what David Schwartz is saying here is RippleNet doesn't even have to win out. What we could see is actually Swift adopt XRP because XRP is the best way to settle transactions instantaneously all around the world. This would not force XRP to take over Swift. This would not force Ripple to take over Swift. This would be Swift adopting a new age technology to upgrade the financial system. This is something that is extremely bullish. And how do I know that it's very possible this is happening behind the scenes? We'll take a look at the people working at Ripple. This is something that absolutely cannot be ignored. They have people working at Ripple from the US State Department, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Accenture, SBI, Standard Chartered, the US Treasury, the Digital Euro Association, the Digital Pound Foundation, and the Federal Reserve. Guys, this is not a roster you build unless you're solving something big, and I have a feeling what they are solving might actually already be put into place. I have a feeling Swift might already be getting ready to use XRP to settle payments on the back end. Let me know what you guys think though, because I have a feeling something huge is being built. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the update. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, Mickle out. <laughs>